Hi everyone, welcome to our how to short video. So we hope you will enjoy it and we'll come back for more. Uh, today we are looking at how to load and print with a TPE. TPE stands for thermoplastic elastomene, and it's basically just rubber, simply in, in simple terms. With uh, TPE, it is the, the the biggest complication is that it's quite flexible and it's difficult to to feed it. To, to load it in the extruder, and the second issue is that uh, when you're printing, it's important not to print too fast because otherwise it will wrap around the gear and will jam your extruder. So keep in mind that always go slow with the TPE. So the the, manu the automatic loading method, or the, uh, that is selectable from the menu from Flash for Dreamer menu. Is, is not suitable in this case, and, and the reason for that is that ABS or PLA is is much harder, and, and the Dreamer doesn't know how, that you're loading uh, rubber, so it will try to feed the filament at the same speed as ABS and PLA. And if you feed at the same speed, as, as I mentioned before, it will jam your extruder, it will wrap around the gear and will jam your extruder. So for this case, we have to use the software control the printer from the software. And then uh, I'm using Flash Print um, software that comes with a Flash for Dreamer. I'm pretty sure that other software packages would have uh, similar options. So go to Tools, um, Control Panel. And in Control Panel, set the motor speed to 2 and extrude duration to 1 or 2 seconds. When, when you re replace your filament, uh, that you used before with a um, with a with a rubber, you will have to feed it slowly and then and uh, with it from the from the software. So just to make sure that um, it it cleans out and it doesn't jam. For loading purposes, I'm using 200 degrees on the nozzle. And um, for printing purposes, probably 175 to 200 degrees is uh, suitable. It depends on the printer. If you go too hot, it will simply will um, destroy the, the rubber, and will, the rubber will lose the properties. If you go too cold, obviously, the problem will be with um, with ex extrusion. It might just simply not go, not not feed through the nozzle and uh, jam your extruder. So when it heats, when it heats up to required temperature, and um, you just simply press forward, and it will feed slowly, slowly uh, the filament. You will see later on uh, when I when I change and change the filament in, in, in this video. Okay, let's have a look how to load the, our TPE filament. TPE filament is quite flexible, as, as you know, and it's quite difficult to feed. And um, so, when replacing the filament, make sure that you have PLA instead of ABS. If you had ABS before printing with um, TPE, just replace, <coughs> start extruding the PLA because PLA is softer. And TPE, TPA filament, it will be easier for TPE filament to to push out the, to push out the PLA rather than ABS. So preheat the Preheat the nozzle extruder up to required temperature, and in this case, I, I have preheated it up to um, 200 degrees. Before, the easiest way to pull it out is extrude extrude a little bit of filament and then pull it out. And the reason for that is that PLA tends to expand if it's if it hasn't been used for 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 a little bit and it was at high temperature. So just what I usually do is just push it in and then pull it out. So it comes out, as you can see, with a small blob in there. And um, so the, the nozzle at the moment is, is quite clean. With a feeding the filament, don't just push, don't, don't, don't use the menu on the, on the Dreamer to load the, to load the right extruder. The easiest way is to straighten it out, feed it in straight through the hole, to make sure that it goes all the way in. The reason for, for doing this is that um, 
when you when you click load extruder what will happen is that extruder doesn't know that it's flexible TPE and will try to load it at the same speed as the ABS or, or PLA and when it does that it, it simply goes too fast and the TPE would wrap around the gear after you fed manually in the in the flash print software and it's exactly the same the, should be exactly the same with the, with the other uh, software packages go to control panel and um, set your extruder to the lowest lowest speed lower speed and start extruding at, at the shortest period of, of time so at this in this case I have set I have set the speed to to um, two RPMs and extruding the duration is two seconds and as you can see just make adjustment The, at, at a steady steady pace, the TPE starts pushing out the PLA filament out of it. So when you happen, when you when you see that the TPE is coming out, you're ready to print. Just keep in mind when you when you when you're setting up your print that you're printing at really low speed. Now, probably recommended uh, speed is about 10 to 30 mil, mil per second if you go any faster than that uh, what will happen is that the, the um, filament will wrap around the gear and it will jam so it's not recommended the temperature temperature is anywhere between 175 and 200 degrees it is recommended you can try on your on your printer it might be slightly different but it will be somewhere in that range. I found that um, the easiest way to print, the best way, it's stuck best to the, to the board at 100 degrees, so heat bed 100 degrees. Probably it will work, will work in the, at room temperature as well. Thanks, thanks for listening and good luck. After you loaded the filament, you, you want to start printing something. So I prepared earlier um, a gasket. So it's, um, 3 mil thick, actually probably 2 mil thick, and um, in the settings, but before we start that, I'm using Flash Print so uh, version 3.12, and the reason for that is that um, th version 3.2, the, the latest release, comes only with a FF slicer, and it doesn't have slicer or um, skin forge, and the problem with that is that with slicer you can you can use skirt but with a ff slicer you can't use the skirt it has automatic function when it runs al along the edge and dumps the filament at high speed the problem with that is that it is it is really high speed and uh, the rubber filament wouldn't keep up with it so i recommend not to use that version use the 3.12 version and you can find the link in the description below um, to to one of them if you don't have if you don't have downloaded it yet or you can't find one. So when you set a print, um, go with a with a standard settings. Doesn't matter if it's ABS or PLA. We're we're changing settings anyway. So with a layer thickness, go. I recommend going to point two and point two. Keep in mind that. <clears throat> the thicker the layer, it might appear faster printing, but you have to reduce the speed because when you increase the layer thickness, uh, extruder has to push more filament out, so it will cause it will cause the issues. So go with a 0.2 mil. If you go thinner, it might. I experienced before that um, the nozzle would drag the, the print after itself and um, just. just it would just simply destroy it. Infill, 
cover 90 degree 90 percent it will be sufficient sometimes you want to go more sometimes less if you go if you if you fill too much your your print might be too rigid with a speed I mentioned before that with a TPE you have to be really slow and uh, recommend recommend the speed is 10 to 10 to 30 mil per second it depends on your on your printer so I recommend experimenting it and um, looking what's what, what works what's not temperature 175 to 200 degrees I find that flash force dreamer prints well at 175 the bed temperature uh, you can try to print at room temperature or lower temperatures but um, you might face some um, sticking issues so it might not stick properly I found that at 100 degrees it sticks very nicely and um, the print doesn't come off it stays on it I disable fan cooling and simply allows better adhesion and doesn't solidify as quickly that much that's it for the settings and um, we'll simply slice it and, and it print it. After it's printed out, we'll have a look at the result. Okay, so the print has finished, and <coughs> as you can see, it has some springs, but otherwise, it's quite good. And it is flexible as you would expect from rubber can fold it and it comes back to the original position. So that that's it. Thanks for watching. We we'll hope you enjoyed it.